Go ahead. This is the kind of week I'm having. Only one lug nut came off. All right, so you might ask what you do in a situation like that. Uh, we use brute force. So these lug nuts had the threads on them for the hubcap. And so you don't want to put a 19 on there because you're only going to be on it about a quarter of the way. So get a socket that's bigger. This is a GM, so this is 24 mil. The whole lug nut goes in there. And uh, this is how I get them off. Use a deep well socket, a long extension, and a long pipe. And you just stick it over the socket completely. And go to town on it. Pull up on it. And then pull down. You do that till it snaps off. That's how you get spun out lug nuts off a car. All right, so that was interesting. Uh, this is the old hub, the one that was just spinning. I actually thought maybe these were backed off. This one's backed off a hair, but the rest of them aren't backed off. Uh, they're just stripped out inside the uh, hub here. I talked to him. He said this was uh, one of those Rock Auto two for fifty dollar specials. So. $25 hub. Uh, the one that I put on here is from O'Reilly's. That one was like 130 something. So it's quite a bit more expensive, but uh, you'll probably be able to take the wheel off next time you need to take it off without just spinning. So that's kind of the reason why I don't uh, use Rock Auto anymore. I've had a lot of bad luck with them. Uh, I'm not going to bad mouth them, but if you're going to buy Rock Auto parts, don't buy the cheapest stuff that they offer. They do offer some of the OEM parts and stuff. I would go with that if you had to. And here's why the car was in here uh, to begin with. Uh, broken axle. Wouldn't even to park the car would roll. Driver's side broken axle. So anyway, that's just how the week's been going. Uh, it's kind of frustrating to take a wheel off to change the axle and then these things just spin like that. But it didn't slow me down too much. Just he manned them off of there and uh, went on about my life. But uh, that's a tale of uh, buying the cheapest parts possible. Sometimes it's not worth it because uh, if he would have bought the better hubs to begin with, then uh, he would, you know, he wouldn't be changing that today and putting this on, this one on. But uh, this one's all fixed up and ready to go, hopefully. So anyway, thanks for watching. Have a nice day and God bless.